Hi, welcome back. Woo, I'm Rainbow. Oh, I'm Kim. Yes, and today we're going to talk about safe travels with Travel Bubbles Part Two. Part two. So today we have a conversation about what's going to happen when we start traveling again. Do you think it's going to be very hard? I, I imagine since now mm -hmm. we have to quarantine for two weeks when we go somewhere. Yeah. You're probably going to have to do a lot. To make sure that you are safe for travel. What kind of stuff would we know. have to do? Would they have to take our blood at the airport? Oh, do you like taking blood? I hate seeing I my own blood don't. come I, out. I'm pretty sure I'll faint in the airport, and then I won't be able to travel. I just will. Maybe. What else do you think oh, we might have maybe to do? We'll go into like a room, like in those like movies where you. There's there's a virus, and if you go oh, into a room, they spray it, you. Yeah, they spray you with something, right? And then you have to wear a suit, like a full suit, like, yeah, a, yeah, like yeah, yeah, you yeah. look like an astronaut. Yeah, a white suit. So everybody will look like an astronaut, will become astronauts mm -hmm. when they travel. I feel like this That's is cool. all going to take a really long time though. We might have to arrive like yeah. seven hours before we fly to Take do blood, yeah. and then you have to, like, and you have to line spray, up, oh. and then you have to wear astronaut suit, yeah. maybe like one day <coughs> in the airport. Maybe, and that's what today's conversation is about between our characters Mindy and Carson. So let's get to the conversation right now. I can't wait. Mindy and Carson are talking about travel bubbles. I have some great news. Asia just got its first travel bubble. I heard about that too. Now people in Taiwan can travel freely to Palau. It won't be as free as before, though. They must follow strict COVID-19 rules. Okay, Mindy. Do you remember my name? Uh, Carson. We're uh, friends, right? That's right. I'm Carson, and you're Mindy. Okay. So, what are we talking about today? We're talking about travel bubbles. Yes. You have a bad memory. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mindy and Carson are talking about travel bubbles. Mm -hmm. And I think it's Mindy's turn in the I conversation. I have some great news. Wow. <laughs> uh huh. Asia just got its first. Travel bubble. I heard about that too. Now people in Taiwan can travel freely to Palau. Yes. So in the beginning of the conversation, if somebody comes up to you and suddenly says, "I have some great news," mm. that's like a huge surprise. You're like, "What is it?" Because everybody wants to hear good news. So you can start a conversation that way if you want to talk about some great news. But you can also say. Mm -hmm. I have some bad news. Oh, no. I don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear that. So we'll stick to the good news. Yes. But you can also start a conversation. Sorry, I have some bad news. <gasps> You're fired. Oh my gosh, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. It's terrible. Okay, so freely to Palau. Yeah. So that's good news. So Taiwan and Palau. Yeah. So Mindy is not super, super, super mm. happy, even though it's good news. She oh. says it won't be as free as before, though. So we talked about the word free. That means you can do what you like. And do you? Yes, but we can't. <laughs> They must follow strict COVID-19 rules. Okay. What so, does that mean that we need to follow rules? Okay, so to follow means to, right. Like if you're following me, let's go. Bye-bye. Right? So to follow just means gun right? Yeah. Or obey, or, if we're talking about oh, rules, like yeah. obey. Yeah, just like ting hua, yes. something like that, yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. So, for example, when I was a kid, I had to follow lots of rules. Oh. So, what's a rule? A rule is something that someone says you have to do. For example, exactly. mom might say, you have to come home at 6 p.m. before dinner. Right. Or, you have to clean your room before you go out and play. What was a rule that you had to follow? There was one rule that I really hated following, 
we had dogs. Okay. And our dogs would have to go to the bathroom. Did you have to pick up their poop? Yes. So we had a yard, a backyard, and I had three dogs. So you can imagine each day there is a lot of poo. <laughs> and it was my job to follow them around and pick up the poo. How did you pick it up? I used a small shovel. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> so they were, my parents were pretty strict about this rule too. Ooh. So when I had rules growing up, if I broke the rules, I would have a punishment. <gasps> so the word strict goes with the word punishment. A lot of times, right? Strict is an adjective and it means that your parents are always giving you really difficult rules. Right. You can't do this and it's really harsh, like it's not easy to do. Right, Yanga. Yes, right? yes. If you're not strict, it's like, oh, it's okay, you can do it tomorrow. If you're yeah. strict, you have to do it now. Exactly, so if my dad got home and I didn't pick up after the dogs, I would lose money from, that I would, allowance. from my allowance. <gasps> so in some countries, I think more in America yeah, than in Taiwan. We'll get money every week. Yeah, but we have to do some things, some jobs. To earn it. Around the house, like pick up after the dog or wash the dishes. Mm. And my parents were strict. So if I didn't follow the rule, they would take money away from my allowance. And that's a punishment. So punishment means you didn't do it, so I'm going to take something away. Mm. Or sometimes in Taiwan, a punishment is you didn't do it, so I'm going to hit you. <gasps> you shouldn't hit kids. I don't think so either. Yeah. I think the only time you should ever hit somebody <gasps> when is hit their hand to give them a high five. Ah, we can do that. Let's give you a high five. Uh, we can give each other a high five too. And then you give each other a high five, and then we'll come back from the break to talk about some of the strict rules after COVID-19. All right, so Mindy? And Carson. And Carson will continue their conversation after the break. I didn't hear anything about that. What do people have to do? They have to arrive at the airport five and a half hours early. What? Why? They have to take a COVID-19 test and wait for the results. That's one way to keep everyone safe. Welcome back. Welcome back. High five. Welcome back. So you had mentioned something. You, your Mindy. character, not you, you, the character mentioned something about COVID, strict COVID-19 rules? Yeah, right? okay. I think Carson maybe doesn't really know, so they're discussing what the rules are. Ah, and that means me. Now. Yes. I'm Carson, okay. I didn't hear anything about that. What do people have to do? Oh, so we're wondering if they have to arrive early, if they have to, to get sprayed, get, get blood. <laughs> Who knows? What do we have to do? I'm curious too. Well, I bet Mindy knows. I think so. Okay. They have to arrive at the airport five and a half hours early. That's mm. half a day. Okay, it's better than I thought because I was a little bit scared we might have to like sleep at the, the airport. At the airport, like airport spend hospital. 24 hours there doing weird tests and getting sprayed. But five and a half hours, that's a long time. But it's better than quarantine, right? Yeah, I guess so. Before, we would have to go to the airport. Three? Maybe two to three hours yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. About double. Yeah, double. Double the, the time. And okay. now that you mentioned the word double, yeah. that's times two. Oh, right. So, so before it was only half. That's right. Oh, nice. So oh. double is times two, half is 0 0.5. Okay. So half is something cut, 
and a half. Mm -hmm. So if it's five and a half hours, it's 5.5 hours. Uh-huh, so right. It's like five and a half hours. Wow. So if something were four hours and we're taking half of that. Two hours. That would be two hours, right? And double of that. It's like 一半, right? 一半. 一半. Mm. Okay. And we're talking about hours. Yes. So an hour is 60 different minutes. 60 yeah. minutes is one hour. Yeah. So from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. is one hour. That's right. right. And so when you have to arrive five and a half hours early, that's before. And the opposite of early. Oh, oh I know, I know, I know. Late. Yes. Right? Yes. Right? So you never want to arrive anywhere late. You can always be early. You should never be late. But, but I heard something that it's very cool if you go to a party. You should late. arrive a little bit late, right? Because if the party starts at 8 o'clock, nobody will be there. So if you're there at 8 o'clock, you will look a little bit weird. And you're drinking or you're being friends with yourself. Yeah. So except for parties, yes. you should arrive to things early. Yes. I think a good rule is arrive maybe 10 minutes mm. before some work starts. When you arrive to work, do you normally come early? Normally, maybe a little bit early, maybe five minutes. Mm. Yeah, That's about right. Me and too. Five it will or ten minutes probably early? not be more than five minutes or ten minutes late. It's a window <laughs> okay. of that time. Well, you shouldn't be late ever. Yeah, That's true. Not good. True. If I'm running from the MRT and I'm sweating, uh, probably maybe be five minutes late. I think I will be better if you come in and you're not sweating. If you come in and you're sweating. Maybe people will look at you weird. Yeah. So it's better to cool off for five minutes and yeah. be a little bit late. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm a bit shocked, right? What? Why? Yeah, Carson doesn't like waiting. <laughs> yeah, why? What? Huh? Mindy says they have to take a COVID-19 test and wait for the results. Oh. So you have to do that on the same day you fly. Okay. So that's what, just take the test. That makes sense. Find out if you have COVID. If you don't have it, then you're free to, to travel. Yeah, because before, it was like you had to take it three days, right? Before, before. you get on the plane. Right. And now, you don't need to go three days early, but you do have to come five and a half hours early to take that test. And right. I guess that's necessary because everybody needs to be safe. Yeah. Okay, so... That's one way to keep everyone safe. Yeah. So that makes sense. So we have another vocabulary word, mm -hmm. result. Mm. So we're going to wait for the result mm -hmm. of the COVID-19 test. That means, is the test going to be positive or negative? We need to find out what happened. So the result is the 结果, right? Yeah, the end. Yeah, so you get it, they test the blood, and... Positive? No. Negative? We don't know. What's the result? Yes. And a result can be not only a result for a test, mm -hmm. like positive or negative, but it could be what was the result, meaning what happened, what happened? later? Yeah. What happened in the end? Maybe I was telling you a very long story and you said, okay, what was the result? Uh, what happened in the end? Yeah, was so everybody happy? I think I'm pretty happy. With today's result? I think today's result was really good. What did you think? Did you learn something? Yes, let's do a high five. High oh, five! Another high five? High five another to your friends five. for a good result today. Okay. And I hope that everybody stays safe. And remember, you need to get there five and a half hours early. <laughs> so bring something to do if you're traveling. Right. Yeah. Okay. And we'll, we'll see you see soon. Later. Bye! Mindy and Carson are talking about travel bubbles. I have some great news! Asia just got its first travel bubble! I heard about that too! Now people in Taiwan can travel freely to Palau. It won't be as free as before though. They must follow strict COVID-19 rules. I didn't hear anything about that. What do people have to do? They have to arrive at the airport five and a half hours early. What? Why? They have to take a COVID-19 test 
and wait for the results. That's one way to keep everyone safe. Hi, 大家好，我是 Stephanie。我们今天一起看单字。第一个呢是 half， 名词，半个，一半。Can I have half of your bread? 你的面包可以分我一半吗？第二个呢是 hour， 名词，小时。How many hours do you sleep every day? 你每天睡几个小时？第三个呢是 early 副词，提早的，提前的。如果你不喜欢早起，这时候你就可以说 I hate having to get up early in the morning. 我讨厌早上早起。那最后一个呢是名词 result。这边呢是医学检查或者是实验的结果。The doctor will explain your test results to you. 医生会和你解释你的检测结果。那我们今天的第一个文法重点呢是 somebody hears about 加名词，某人听说。我们先来复习一下 hear 的三态是 hear, heard, heard。在这里呢，听是听说、得知的意思。Have you heard about the new electric motorcycle? 你有听说新的电动摩托车了吗？另外课文里面呢也有出现 I didn't hear anything about that. 句子只是多了 didn't 变成否定的状态，表示我没有听说过任何关于那件事的消息。那第二个重点呢是 a is s 加形容词加 s b a 如同 b 一样点点点。This bed is as soft as a cloud. 哇，这张床跟云一样柔软。从这个句子里面，我们就看到两个 s 的中间呢是形容东西的特性。最后后面放的是这个特性相符的物品或者是人物。那以上就是今天的讲解，我们下次再见。Hey guys, my name is Oliver, and I'm Jamie, and today we're going to play a game called Guess the Bear. We each have three cards, each with two phrases. But instead of saying the whole sentence in the phrase, we're gonna say bear instead. Okay, you ready to go? Yes. All right, you have one minute, and okay. Hmm. We waited anxiously for the bearers of the medical test. The bearers of this experiment didn't meet our expectations. Uh, Just answer. Another result? version that was results. Yeah. Okay, results. All right. This is a phrase. Okay. I'm just bear capable. Bear, anyone else? Benny is bear tall. Bear his dad. Just as. Yes. Okay. Uh, Or just as tall as. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, <clears throat> it shouldn't take you two whole bears to do the dishes. Bears passed before we saw the first rare bird. Alice. Days, uh, version of a first word. Day, oh hour. Yeah. Oh. You got it. Three out of three. Yay! <laughs> okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, are we ready for you to start? Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, one word. Noun. I've been at the company for five and a five and a bear years. She split the sandwich in bear to share with her friend. Half. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Okay. One word. Adverb. Grant arrived bare to the meeting. 6 a.m. is typically considered bare. Late, early. Yes. And a phrase, two words. I didn't bare bare the news until it was too late. Have you bare bare the boy who lived? Hear about? Yes. Heard about? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hear about? Very good. You got all of them. Wow. wow. You too. Yay. Hey, three for three on both sides. Yay. That is not bad. Yay. Oh, man. Oh, it kind of hurt. <laughs> Yay. See you next time.